Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. Yet another exciting day lies ahead of our beautiful nation as we continue to make progress, folks. Not going to bore you with a prolonged introduction as there is so much to accomplish today. Just want to mention, as always, if you've been enjoying this series, if you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel. The number of likes and comments just lets me know what y'all are interested in, but I do also read through all of the comments. So if you have any suggestions, thoughts, opinions, stories, anything you'd like to share, tips, ideas, mods, let me know down below. Again, I want to mention as well, actually, if you don't already know, there is a Discord for this uh, channel as well. Do not hesitate to join in. Their link is in the description down below, and it is full of a most wonderful group of people. It is a fantastic community that I've had the uh, pleasure of uh, hanging out with and being a part of. It's been fantastic times. We do also have a dedicated channel for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. I get the question about the mods that I use fairly often, and if you want my mod list, it is in the Discord as well. It is in that channel, and that's kind of what prompted me to uh, kind of mention it today because I saw a comment... Uh, last time around in, in the comment section of uh, of our last episode with regards to it. And I just want to address that and hopefully anybody who's wondering about the mods I use, well, there's the uh, answer to your question. Folks, like I said though, there's a lot to do. Let's get this party started, shall we? I want to first and foremost address this situation over here. We've got uh, quite a lot to, uh, to build over here. There's a, quite a lot to do over here. Uh, and I was, I kind of threw the question out there with regards to, should we just let it uh, build, you know, through our people's labor, or should I auto build all of this? And I got a couple of, uh, there was a couple of thoughts thrown out there. Uh, there is some push to like auto build this whole thing, and I think we will probably do that. What I'm thinking is, as we plan out this space over here, and as we get the uh, tourism at the old city over here up and running, uh, we're going to be playing at double speed, and we'll let whatever construction get done, get done. Uh, that is to say that this will continue to provide some employment, at least for the near future. Um, I, I believe it'll help with unemployment a fair bit. We might even get uh, Zavodsk bringing people down over here. Uh, we'll, hopefully this construction office has been fully booked up with, uh, with all of these assignments. It does look like it. Uh, what I might do is I might build the roads. Uh, no, it looks like we don't really have to. Oh no, you know there are some roads that need building. But I might just auto-build these roads and then let the, uh, the structures get built by the construction offices. Um, and then when we're done planning some of the other elements and, and getting some of the other elements, you know, up and running, uh, then we'll dive back in and we'll just pay for whatever's left to build. Uh, and in the meantime, it'll at least provide some employment. That's my thinking. Again, let me know what you think. I imagine we'll be pulling that trigger. Wow, that's the weirdest pronunciation of trigger I've ever heard. I imagine we'll be pulling that trigger at some point today. So chances are I won't, you know, get to responding to your feedback with regards to this development, but, you know, for future developments, it's just good for me to know. Uh, I want to also mention that it's been pointed out that this, uh, uh, as much as I've, you know, spent the time to plan this extension and make sure that trains will fit here appropriately and all that, uh, I did sort of miss the, uh, uh, miss the mark on not putting a, a, a crossing down anywhere for, for trains to cross over to the right side. Uh, on that note, I will say, well, one thing I want to check first, actually, is if I were able to fit another track down over here, we actually do have plenty of room because um, if we just check the length of these trains really quickly, got to refresh my own memory over here. We check the length of this train. It is 128 meters. Okay, 128 meters. Uh, I was thinking of going with a 100 meter length train uh, over here. I can't remember if I edited that out or if I included that. I was thinking of going for a 100 meter length. Let's say 128 though. 128 meters takes us up to where? up to roughly here. But I do still have a bit of room for a crossing, though, you know, not a very long one if I wanted to. Uh, but what I'm thinking is I'll put crossings down kind of like over here and over uh, over here. And that way the crossing happens, well, maybe, maybe a little bit further up, but that way the crossing happens uh, before you get into the station's uh, isolated tracks and you, uh, you kind of get... Um, these will stay as two ways, so hopefully it'll be a bit smoother movement. There's also been uh, suggestions that maybe I've actually overcomplicated this space. Maybe I've like overdone it, and we don't really need, um, you know, this level of. No, hold on. I want the chains. Sorry. I think I want chains on both sides. Yeah. Uh, that that maybe I've overcomplicated this, and then maybe I've made it uh, 
uh, you know, it's like it's never going to get this much of a crowd or this much traffic and maybe didn't need to have this kind of a length. My hope is that, again, as a reminder, not only are we going to be passing uh, fuel and bitumen through here like we've already been doing, uh, but also don't forget that vehicles, and I think we'll do get to this this session, vehicles will be picked up over here and they'll be shipped all the way around because we didn't want to take it through like... We didn't want to go through this like main kind of line over here. It felt a little awkward driving it right through here. Uh, so we're going to be driving it past uh, or, or training it, I guess, past here uh, where there's at least a bit of, you know, gap between the residential spaces. It feels less, um, feel, feels a bit more normal. Uh, and we'll be bringing the cars through here uh, to go all the way up to uh, St. Portia to ship out elsewhere, right? So we're going to be getting uh, fuel. We're going to be getting... Uh, bitumen we're gonna be getting cars we're also you know any other industry that crops up over here we'll probably be using this we're gonna be putting down some more industry over here that'll be using this uh, and then there's gonna be passengers on top of that so this will get pretty busy and I want to make sure that we are thinking ahead uh, and if I've overdone it then I would rather have overdone it than have underdone it and then regretted it down the line you know what I mean um, but anyway sorry I, I, I digress there just want to touch on our population 54.5 looking pretty good it does look like kind of stagnating and or slowing down might be again because of those 21 pluses uh you know hitting 30 and then and then leaving uh escapes or uh, or, or or migration this year so far has been relatively hefty and again i think once we get all this housing done we'll be okay i'm oh, feeling okay though feeling okay economy is looking fantastic of course we haven't struggled with the economy in a very very long time so i think we're uh, we're doing okay uh tourism hopefully will improve as well over time but let's go ahead and hit play for starters Let's go ahead and get these uh, upgraded roads paid for. Am I able to? I go on a auto build using rubles. Because they're not upgrades, I don't know if I'll be able to. Nah, I can't pay for them like this. That's a bit of a bummer. Uh, just because now it's like a bit of a struggle to, to do it like this. But roads, they just, I mean, they take needlessly long. They, they slow down the process significantly and, and uh, and the materials they need also, they, they kind of take a little bit longer to, to collect sometimes, like asphalt and, and, and gravel and whatnot. So all this stuff we'll go ahead and fund. Um, I wish it wasn't so many multiple individual sections. Yikes. This is definitely something that could be improved. I saw there was a great comment, um, as there tend to be. Uh, there was a great comment in the uh, comments of the last uh, episode about how like there's some quality of life changes that need to be... Uh, implemented because as you know great as the game's overall experience is there's a lot of like micromanagement stuff there's a lot of like little things this is one of those examples where it's just like if it if it was easier to to do this if it was faster and smoother to do this then uh the game would be that much better for it and you don't really realize it until it's not there and when it's not there you go wow um this is painful and it, and it is like being uh being fair right I, I shower this game with compliments but uh but obviously it does have its uh there's little things that it needs to improve on as well. That's why it's an early access. This is one of those things. Like, I can't believe I'm individually clicking on each of these segments just so that we can move past this. Now, if there is already a smoother and better way to do this, please don't hesitate to let me know. Uh, that would be fantastic. And I would have, obviously, I, I would have wished that I'd known it sooner. But hey, we're here now. What can you do? And once we get all this done... We should be able to speed time up and move forward. There's not so much to, like, stress us out anymore. It has been brought up, though, that I should maybe consider uh, getting farms going sooner rather than later because this is all going to take a lot of, uh, a lot. And I mean a lot of, uh, of, of, of food. Has the road not connected over here? What have we got going? Why, why are you not? Interesting. It should definitely be connected. Yes. Parking lots over here. Yeah, yeah, that needs to be connected for sure. All right, cool. Very cool. And now let's just make sure that the uh, instruction office is actually assigned over here. Um, but yeah, like uh, it was brought up that I should, I should definitely get some more farms and stuff going, which I uh, wholeheartedly agree. And we'll definitely look into that. Uh, maybe this session, maybe uh, maybe early next session. We'll see. But, uh, but soon. There is the shopping center over here, so we have a place to deliver the food. We have all the like all the shopping center stuff down over here, so we'll be we'll be fine on that front. But uh, but that is definitely a good point. It was also brought up that it'd be nice to have um, a stadium at St. Elitesburg, and I do not disagree. I do wonder if we take a look at the stadiums here. 
Like, I don't know about making more housing up over here. You know, maybe we do change it up. Maybe we do put down a stadium over here instead and uh, and see what that does for us. Um, there, are, there are some varieties to choose from, of course. We already have this stadium up at uh, Veterinka Grad, but I wonder if we don't uh, put a different one down over here. This, this, uh, this would be pretty cool, I think. Hmm. Put the stadium down here. People have access to sport. I imagine everybody will be able to reach this down over here. And I don't know about from over here, but, you know, maybe they take uh, a bus ride to here and then they get... Then they, they walk up over here. They should be able to reach. That shouldn't be a problem. I think this is a decent spot. Should employ a bunch of people, too. And it's kind of cool, you know, coming into the city or, or, or leaving the city, you... Um, I just want to see if this raises up or goes down. I don't want it to go up. Uh, go, going into the city, you see this, like, massive stadium. Uh, it makes me think of... It's going to sound strange, but it makes me think of... Um, a, a most vague memory I have from, uh, from my middle school days of traveling to this very specific kind of touristy spot in Morocco. And there was a football stadium en route. And I can't remember for the life of me the details of it because I was... I was Middle school is a long, long time ago now. Uh, but I think it was like on the way to the Medina, um, which is like this like shopping, uh, open air shopping thing. Uh, there was a stadium and it always kind of stood out to me. And I always think about that when I put down stadiums in this game. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, you're going out to somewhere f what what feels far away or touristy and you, you drive past the stadium. I, I don't know. Very kind of personal connection, I suppose, to that uh, I idea. There we go. Oh, almost auto-built it. That would not be good. Right, so this is, I think, an interesting spot for the stadium. Uh, we are switching things up, obviously. We could put down some more housing over here, like where the tourist element is over here. Instead, we could put down housing uh, and, a, and, a, and a bus stop as well, if we feel it's necessary. Why don't we go ahead and yep, flatten the train a bit more. Quite like how the footpaths are connecting make for an interesting uh, addition. And I do quite like the uh, the look of the stadium as well. I think. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Alright, go ahead and pop you down over here. Sorry for the hesitation there, folks. But I'm sure you understand. Not auto building. Cool. Now, do I want to rush this thing? Not so much. We're going to go ahead and suspend the construction until the housing is done first. And once the housing is done, we'll, uh, we'll consider focusing on this. Now, people are able to reach from all of these houses. Yes. Why is this... Pay for you, I guess. And I gotta pay for you too. There we go. So now everybody should be able to reach. Oh, really? These guys are not able to reach? Are you kidding me? I think once I. Uh... Huh. Really? Well, that's wild. Maybe I should consider nudging it over a bit more. 242 meters is up here. What if I get. Um... I know I'm completely distracted from what I said I was going to focus on this session, but I don't think this is an entirely uh, terrible distraction. If I go ahead and build you and I build you, then what happens? Still nothing, eh? Okay, interesting. Now, these roads are also crappy roads. What if we upgrade these roads? Because again, higher quality roads means faster walking speeds and stuff like that, right? So let's go ahead and just upgrade all these roads, pay for it. Okay, I was a little worried that I didn't click auto-build that time. Looking good. Much better. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. Okay, fantastic. So everybody over here can reach. If we have housing over here, they'll definitely be able to reach, of course. Can anybody over here reach? I doubt it. Yeah, no surprise there. But from the bus stop, people can reach. So they'll they'll make their way over and they'll, they'll walk over. Okay, fantastic. Um, and you know what? Let's go ahead and clone this unit over to roughly here and then we can put the bus stop in the middle we're not auto building yes okay good again not exactly symmetrical i don't think that was the intent what about over here so a lot of people who aren't going to pay for tickets watching the the games uh we put them down over here and then one down over here yeah sure we could try that flatten you up there beautiful a little bit closer See if we can get a better view over here. Seems reasonable. Alright, pop you down there. Not auto building yet. 
good stuff. And go ahead and demolish some of these footpaths and some of these roads. Get rid of this road there as well. Okay, good. Then what we can do is we can go ahead and clone you again over here. And I wonder if we'll need a school behind. We'll probably need schools and stuff behind these guys. And pop you down over. Need free excavator. Come on now. Can I not? I uh... guess we'll check auto build here and just gotta be careful. Over here looks good. Roughly, yeah. Go ahead and flatten that out. Turn off auto build. Then go ahead and pop you down over here. Yes. Cool. What that'll let us do is... Well, I think I need to wait until the sun rises just so I can see things a bit more clearly. Now, earlier I heard a very loud and terrifying sound. It wasn't the building being destroyed over here because this is being taken care of. Looks like the fire literally just got doused. Okay, fair enough. But I heard something that sounded like an explosion. Maybe it was our, our, our plane taking off, but I've never quite heard it like that. Oh, look. We have power. Oh, it's so cool, man. I just arrived with another 29 tourists. Okay, good stuff. Picking up tourists over here. Okay, excellent. I do quite like this uh, roundabout and whatnot. Looks looks very nice. Over here, you've got one tourist. Yeah, we're going to need more of these tourist buses. Let's go ahead and make some more. Plenty of cars done. Let's go ahead and um, select blueprint. Three of these going, and then we'll flip back to maybe some... Uh, red cars. We don't have any red cars in the old city. It's all yellow cars, so maybe we'll get some red cars up there, hopefully. Looks like it's getting quite busy down over here. I mean, this is fun to see. Like, it's it's fun to see it working as kind of intended. I should probably upgrade this road over here. That's a little uh, silly on my part. Go ahead and auto-build. Go. Nice. That should help speed up the, uh, the journeys a bit more. Reachable parking lots. There we go. just want to make sure people are working at these and we are getting some hotel staff and whatnot most marginal mar most marginal numbers unfortunately a lot of staff here but no visitors is no one like driving in to participate in sports down here maybe i should reduce whoa maybe we do that a nice number of maximum visitors Hopefully it'll force more people down over here. I really want this to work. If it doesn't work, we'll use buses, but I would really appreciate if this worked. Well, lots more cars to get bought. No free parking lots near residential buildings. Gotcha. Because they do live, uh, they do leave, sorry, um, a bit of a gap. Um, they, they, they only fill up to a, a certain maximum percentage. Go ahead and clone a couple of you. Of course, now I have to delete this road that I just paid for. And of course, I have to overcomplicate this. Where are my waypoints? There you are. Pop you there. Pop you there. Go ahead and... There you go. Sorry, my life. Two or three. I mean, we could. We might as well just go with all three, right? If it'll let me put them down, it will not. So we start with two. Come on. Don't be like this game. Get rid of that. And... What's causing the problem here? Are we good? The flattening required. Infrastructure trouble up top there. The flattening required over here. Once we flatten, we're able to get a bit closer, right? Yeah. Here. It was like happy to leave this entire road, eh? Flatten, I suppose. I think we're good. Watch it not line up nicely. <laughs> like I said, story of my life, right? Pause, unpause. That dance. A little bit further up with you, I guess. A lot further up with you, okay. My apologies, folks. Bear with me here. Bear with me here. More like this, I think. 
Yeah, that's good. I'll take that. Put these roads back. Get that out. There we go. Hook you in down this way. Hook you in up that way. Hook you in down this way. Right. Fantastic. Mission all that. Go ahead and double speed it. A for all the view. Done. 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 And done. Go ahead and pay for these guys as well. No, no need to wait. Okay, we've got money. Money's money's not a thing, right? Money's not a thing anymore for us. So now, hopefully, you're able to yes operate without issue. Beautiful. We'll get more uh, more parking lots elsewhere down the line as well. This has just been our primary focus for now, I suppose. A lot of people are able to reach these parking lots, so that should be good. And again, like I said, if it doesn't work out, we'll we'll work on other solutions and stuff as well. By the way, actually, seeing this boat reminds me. I was recommended to me that I go ahead and pick up this pretty interesting looking mod. Uh, where is it? Monument? Um, the categorization sometimes is uh, is not, not that great, I would say. Uh, by the way, I picked up a bunch of uh, more like decorative elements that we can use for certain things. Um, but no, I was looking for... Shouldn't be under cinema, but yeah, wow. But I was going to say, but it feels like it will be. The Naval Museum. Uh, which is more like a military museum, I'll be honest. It's got like uh, airplanes. It's got it's got a, a, a giant warship. It's got uh, choppers and and looks like uh, looks like is that a tank or a or a or a pillbox? Anyway, it's got a lot of really cool uh, elements, like wartime elements. So it's like a war museum. Unfortunately, it's not really a tourist attraction. I'm hoping I can say the word yet. I really do hope the mod developer comes in and and makes it a tourist attraction with like an attraction rating and stuff like that. Um, but it is a pretty cool thing. I would like to build it. I'm not sure what it gives exactly, uh, so I'll t give it a test run first, and then I'll then we'll look into it. But anyway, once more, I, I digress. Getting work done over here. Yeah, looks like people are coming through. Looks like this is seeing some good progress as well. Good progress over here, sports and everything. This, though, right? I was waiting for the sun to rise so I can do this, and then we can move on down south. Uh, let's go ahead and build modded platforms. A large, an extra large bus station. Is that what we have over here? I believe so. Yes. An extra large bus station. Um, maybe like this isn't a terrible idea. I'm trying to figure this out here. Um, okay, we're just planning for now. Do that. Get rid of this. And get rid of. Oh, come on. I want to make sure I don't break the road by mistake instead. Hook you back up. There we go. Now the road itself, and we do crossing not allowed. Why not? Weird. Okay, that works. And then we can do... Hmm. What about uh, straight out and then hook up like this? A little bit further straight out. Hook up like this. No, too sharp. Fantastic. Hmm. I figured out if I'm happy with this or not. I'm, I'm pretty happy. Not super happy, but pretty happy. It's like this this angle I don't quite love. I was hoping we had more room over here. What I might want to do is uh, shift this stuff back. Uh, let's go ahead and clone all of you. Back up to like, just somewhere where I can plant you down, basically. Wish I could save this as a prefab. Something, you know? Uh, sure. Can we flatten? No, we can't. There we go. Cool. Pop you down here. All good. That will allow me to demolish all of this. Thank you, autosave, for pulling my roll there. There we go. Done, done. 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 Um, there's a lot of clicking. I, I wish... On the one hand, I appreciate that it asks, but sometimes it's just like, yes, I, I'm sure I want to delete this building. Please. Just let me get rid of it. I think we're... Nope. Still have a couple of things left over here. Okay. All I'm doing this for is so that we can, like, back this up a bit more and, and make this area integrate a bit more nicely. Might even rotate this so it's kind of facing like this, you know? Go for it. Polish you. Get rid of you. Good stuff. All right. So, that bus stop, first of all. Extra large bus stop. How's this one laid out? Kind of in between. Fair enough. Like, 
this. Can't build infrastructure. Now we're good. Alright, pop you down. What is... Oh, I see. These uh, playgrounds are getting in our way. Didn't need two clicks to demolish each and every one of them, but here we are. Okay, I think that's all of them. No, nope, we got one more here. Done. They're just hard to see as well. Another one. Cool. Let's see a Khaled over here. Uh, okay, cool. Extra large. Just the bus. Yes. Pop you down over here. Looks good to me. Cool, not auto building. We want to make sure we have like this kind of a loop thing going as well, right? That pulls out from over here. Go straight out like that. Yeah, I think that's the sound of our, our planes taking off. Pull you out to here. And then down to here. A little bit further out. A little bit further. I um, don't think I'm going to get what I need without deleting a piece first. Like that, maybe. Yeah, that looks uh, that looks better. Cool. Pull you over this way. This is all looking pretty good. And then... We're able to bring these guys... Oh. Oh, we'll cancel that later. Copy these guys back over now to here. Couple steps, but it does the trick. Like so. Rotation right. I wonder if the stadium can be nudged over a little bit. Try it. Construct mod. Sports playground. Where'd you go? There you go, the Selsky Stadium. Can't believe the infrastructure. Great, this got built. Come on now. Nothing is moving here. These guys all got built, eh? Well, some of this is uh, just mud roads from the beginning. That's all good. Can I... Seriously, are you... going with me right now? It might not get the way. Ski Stadium. Up over here. I guess it's a good marker for if we did, in fact, uh, get far enough or not. That was the closest it let me go. Or the furthest it let me go, rather. Yeah. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. We could do this. Or... Yep, let's do that. Can I please now get rid of this connection? No, I'm going to have to, I think, put down a waypoint or two. I'm assuming... Yeah, that's what it was. Get rid of both of these. Get a footpath connection... down this way and over here there's no no one's gonna like walk in from up over there so this is fine it's just like an alternate entrance basically to the stadium i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of you and I, this is just silly it's like no it's not the footpath isn't being used by anybody <laughs> but it sees the crosswalk as a, as a part of the same conversation i guess all right now let's see if we can't go ahead and clone this over this was uh not supposed to be the focus of today's episode but you know here we are here we are. Yeah, we only get... I think it's like, if anything, it's marginally closer, really. Alright. Mm. On this first. As close as we can get. Flat than that, thank you very much. Pop you down over here. Nope. Gotta go a little bit lower, I guess. That road up top is blocking us, so here we go. And now we'll go ahead and clone you. Not that it makes a difference, I think, but... We can get a little bit closer on this side. We can, like, tighten the gap between these uh, units, I think. Let's get rid of the road here. Come on, baby. Work with me. There we go. There we go, alright, cool. As close as we can get, I think. Can I... no. 
demolish you. Just a little bit. There we go. That'll do. Yeah, I think that'll do the trick. Pop you down right over th there. Over there. Button hook this up. Beautiful. Then our road can connect over here, and these roads can connect like this and like this. Cool. That's what I was hoping for. Feels a bit better. Now, this isn't the cleanest. Probably make this a little bit nicer. Probably make this a fair bit nicer, actually. I wish there was an undo button. That way I wouldn't feel as worried about uh, that kind of a move ruining things. Like it maybe kind of did there, but hey, you know what? I'll live a life of regrets anyway, so why not just add another one? There we go, that's not too bad. That's good, that's good. Yeah, good stuff. I can get behind that. Go ahead and get this uh, footpath connection back over here as well. If we can, because over here... Oh, I guess not. Right over here it kind of like goes up and connects to the road. Fair enough. Back over here what I'm thinking is we'll, uh, we'll be putting down... Uh, education and whatnot, because these guys are not going to be able to reach down over here. So, in fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and maybe even clone this uh, little unit over here. Like so. Get you. No, let's just get you guys. And pop you down. Make it a little different. Make it a little different. Pop you down over. Uh, here, perhaps, because we do have to get the road out. Excavator, sure. Pay for it. And there we go. Don't know if I like that. It's not going to fly. It's like one thing or the other is going to work. Fine game, you know what I mean. Ah. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Let's go ahead and level height from center. But flatten all this out, man. Just this constant like uh, terraforming cost, really. Rather funny. All right, there we go. Good stuff. Run off auto build. Go ahead and clone these guys over. Yeah, works. I don't mind that little outcropping path at the bottom there. That's like fine. Come on. You just have to like inch up a little bit. I think. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> Just look at the money usage. I'm not. I've not been doing the math, but uh, it can't be. Uh, can't be great. Can't be great. We'll have to flatten a bit more, actually. Just because the uh, the path otherwise will be really funky looking. It'll be like uphill, downhill. Literally going going uphill both ways to get to school. It'll finally be a reality for these people. Not what I want. All right. Clone. Can we please loop this up nice and clean? Okay, looks good. Can I please put it down here nice and clean? Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Slightest rotation is needed, but I don't think we'll get it, so I'll be satisfied with what I can get over here. Which is this, I suppose. Stuff kills me, man. Here, I'll, I'll take this. Pop you down right over here cool i want to make sure there's enough room for the uh road and of course i have auto build checked at that time not a problem though not too many to cancel and let's get this road figured out now we've got the road over here that is not gonna be able to go through road out from over here sides are what too steep infrastructure's in the way demolish some of these there we go we get this road over here, get these buildings connected like so and like so, get our footpaths connected here, here, and here. Get you hooked up here, get you hooked up here, get the school hooked up like so. It'd be easy to reach for, for everybody. I could even get a little hookup down over here potentially. We'll add some like trees and, and benches and stuff. I think that'll work out. Go ahead and get rid of all this nonsense, we don't need this. Um, and the road itself, though. Continue on. Just ever so slightly. 
unpause, go ahead and round the bend over here. We'll just pause because of the uh, auto build on the kindergarten and the school. Oh, cool. there we go. Nice. And then we can, of course, get rid of all of this. It's, it almost feels like we have to have like a, a section of the map where we've flattened it and we can just like save a bunch of these like templates, so to speak, so you can easily select them. Because as, as things get, uh, you know, more complex, it becomes harder to, to individually select these elements. It's probably not a terrible idea, but there I go demolishing all this because it's kind of weird. Wish there was like a, a bloop, like a clone and save option or something, you know? Like right inside the game, not using like a, a external tool or anything like that. All right, good stuff. I do believe we do not have the playgrounds over here, but that's not too difficult to uh, to fix. Let's go ahead and construction, mod. Uh, I believe it falls under kindergarten. In fact, we might even be able to get some bigger playgrounds here now because the layout's a bit different, and uh, that'll be nice for a change. Working to our advantage over here. Sure, let's get you down there. Let's get you down over here. Let's get some of these smaller ones in as well, right? Pop you in... Where? How about, uh, how about this one? Oh. Come on, buddy. One of you have got to fit. Alright, maybe just one playground each. Fair enough. Oh. Nice. What if I do that? Beautiful. Pop you there, and one up over here. Yes. Love it. Excellent. Exactly what I need. Some wins. Some easy wins. There you have it. Cool. I'm going to adjust this one a little bit. Because I feel like... Probably get... Which one is it? Is it you? Yeah. I'll get it to match a bit better on the other side. Yeah, that works fine. Wonderful. So this will be a lot more... Uh, a lot more... Uh, housing over here. Now, the, the concern, I suppose, is like, yeah, will people be able to reach? I think we'll be fine. Once all the footpaths are built, I think people will be fine to reach up over here. Uh, and then, of course, we have the school and the kindergarten down over here as well for, for this community as well. Okay, wow. So this is all happening now. Hopefully people are... Yeah, looks like it. Um, I'm thinking we also get Zavutsk's huge construction office working on some of these buildings. Again, that highway connection makes this a little bit easier to... Uh, Get them to work on, but I don't think it auto-assigned any of it. Fair enough. No road connection to this yet. Alright. Oh, you know what? I just realized this needs to be paused. But otherwise... Yes. Okay, great. Um, one thing I need to do is... Get a hospital up over here as well, right? There's no hospital here. We do have workers get dropped off. Ooh, this is... We got we got fire stations in the area. We'll be fine. Yeah, two on route. Yeah, we'll be okay. So cool to see this like city in motion. I'll double speed it now. Yeah, I was talking about hospitals last session as well because we had a couple of tourists die on us, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's because they are yep falling ill up over here where there's no uh, ambulance or anything to to take them out of safety. So if we get a hospital, a nice what do we need this fancy thing up over here? You get drunk to no end, and you can easily get access to uh, to healthcare. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. You know, it also makes sense that if like a if a uh, if a passenger is feeling unwell on the train on, on the train on the plane, then when they get off the the plane, they are able to immediately get some uh, some medical attention. So I actually quite like this for a couple of reasons. Cool. Go ahead and pop you down over here, I think. And then plus we have like a swimming pool and stuff over here as well. So it's not just for potential alcohol poisoning. Not just for that. Pop this down over. Here, I'm not auto building, but I probably will. The road connection. Um, how do I want to connect this? I feel like something like this. Yeah, that feels good. And then our footpath over here. Let's go ahead and actually, you know what? Auto build these roads. Upgrade you. Get our footpath as well. Auto build these upgrades. That should have been done before. Cool. Let's go ahead and auto build you and we'll purchase the uh, the um, the ambulances as well. And the hope is that workers who get dropped off, well, you know, here's the weird thing. 
they're not able to get here from up over here. So I will need a footpath connection from here. Wonder if we can't. Let's see. Can we potentially make something fancy over here at level train a little bit? If it'll let me. Pay for it. Because what I want to do is I want to try and get the path to walk around this uh, this structure. I might have to get rid of these uh, these um, power cables potentially. Like we're okay. A bit of a funny path back over here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that doesn't fly. All right, that's unreasonable. Get rid of you. Pause for a second here. Get rid of these connections. And flatten away. This shouldn't be too much of a, of a struggle over here. And then hopefully people will be able to, yeah, just walk over to the hospital. Like, impl like workers will be able to hop over from, uh, from the, uh, uh, the, ca the cable, cable way station. Uh, keep flattening. And I forgot how long these things take to flatten, even with, uh, like the financial investment, it's almost like it doesn't make a difference. Jeez. Big parts of this actually are not. I'm not allowed to flatten. It looks like. Come on. Now. There we go. Need like marginal movement in some certain spaces. Let's see. Step you out. Rotate you like so. Not exactly. Pull you straight. We're gonna have to like accept the game has certain limitations over here. See if we can't cancel this. We're not able to. Maybe make a connection here. Too steep of an incline. You lying to me, game. It's not lying to me. This is definitely too steep of an incline. What about... Oh. Beautiful. That's uh, exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> yeah, see, it's going to be a little funky looking, but uh, hey, you know, it's a, it's a good morning workout. Oh, it looks so weird, but again, I just, I'm just i not allowed to flatten this without demolishing everything over here, and to me, that's just silly. And when things feel silly is when I kind of go like, okay, listen, we're, we're going to work around this because we, we have to. Got to suspend our disbelief there for... for a little bit. Go ahead and pop you down over up to here. Put you up over there. Go ahead and pay for all of that. Done here. And let's go ahead and upgrade all of this. And hopefully it works as intended. Hopefully. Yes, wonderful. Sorry, little walk over here. Now we have unspecified for workers, so hopefully we'll get a decent split and we'll get some enough people. Oh yeah, looks like it. Good stuff, but we do need some ambulances. Um, they can be working in the area, so let's just get something that's like newish. 82, 90, Latvian. What what have we been using? The R2203, I think? Um, list of vehicles. By the way, I've been pointing out that uh, train lengths I can get from over here, apparently. Yeah, there we go. There are all the train lengths, so thank you for pointing that out. But no, uh, road vehicles, I want the ambulance. We're using the R2203. Cool. Stay consistent over here. That ought to do the trick. I don't think we'll need more than four ambulances. Hopefully these guys are only servicing this space over here. We also probably don't need that many workers. Oh my god, there's a lot of patients already treated. No wonder we're seeing deaths over here. But this is great. I mean, look at this. This place is busy. I mean, this place is proper busy. This is exciting. We've had food, alcohol, and meat over here as well, so that's pretty good. Yeah, we're making we've done some we've done well over here. But what's the situation up over here? Can we at least get this area going as well? No, missing staff. Come on, guys. You guys also you're not able to walk over here from the parking lots, no. There's people going up there? Or are they just not arriving in quantity? Because you can see people coming down here to work, but those are guests. Great. Fantastic. Right, I might need to might need to get the bus going over there. 
Might need to get the bus going over there. Alright, down over here, though. Progress? Yes, progress. Down over here. Uh, so as we discussed, from here we get a lot of the resources for uh, our production. Which reminds me, where's my uh, trains that I've let, uh, my, my, my new buses that I let kind of get away from me. One more of you. They are off somewhere. Gallivanting. And it's so silly that you can't specify which uh, vehicles you want to... Oh, wait, hold on. We got them here. We got two of them down here. But you know what? Cancel these guys. Swap over to the car again. Do we have a different car we could use? Sure, let's do this one instead. Why not? Um, or actually, you know what? Sorry. Let's do, do this one instead. It's been recommended before. Cool. A bunch of those. We'll get them in different colors as well. But uh, we've got the... we got two buses. I wanted more than two. But we've got two buses down over here. I will take that. Take advantage of that. And we get our tourist bus up over here. I would like to view line details. And I would like to set line to... Of course. All right. Here's how we can do this. Go ahead and send you over this way. And where's our other one? Go ahead and send you over this way as well. And then I should be able to set line to vehicle because they're en route now. No, I have to wait until you... Yeah, there we go. And there you go. Well, perfect. Perfect. That should do the trick. As all that's happening, and all this is being built, we're going to focus over here. So, a lot of the um, stuff that is needed to make cars is also needed to make the uh make uh make, make railway um like train uh parts i guess and i think also the airplanes outside of aluminium obviously we need to get aluminium but that's a whole separate process we got to get bauxite mines and, and processing and all that kind of stuff but apart from that these guys share the need for plastics mechanical components electronic components electronics and fabric most of those things are produced down over here. Well, that's not entirely true. Some of these things are produced down over here. Uh, electronic components and electronics are produced, and mechanical components actually as well, are produced up over here. So we're going to try and create this kind of a setup. Mechanical components, electronics assembly hall, elect electrical components factories. All the This kind of a setup needs to be produced down in that corner that I was pointing out um, in order to build uh, railway production line stuff as well as airplane production line stuff. Is there anything else we need over here? I don't think so. That'll do that. Right, so let's go ahead and see if we can't actually literally just clone this um, because, boy, wouldn't that be great. We need to put a open storage down. That's fine. But yeah, let's see if we can't pull this over. God, I love the clone tool. It's not perfect, but again, like I was saying earlier, right? A lot of these things need a little bit of uh, improving, but uh, but there's some some great stuff going on. Now, remember, we need to also bring passengers down over here, not just goods, but also passengers, right? We'll have to be very uh, cognizant of that as we as we plan this area. Um, up down over here. How how are these tracks? Relatively flat. It's relatively flat. I might want to flatten this a bit more. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get to properly kind of planning this space out today, by the way. Apologize for it, but it, it does seem somewhat likely. We got a lot done, but not exactly what I set out to do. <laughs> to be honest with myself. Ooh. Global market report. The price of iron ore on the global markets rises up. Okay, fair enough. I don't think it'll uh, really help us all that much. In fact, it'll hinder. Uh, because I do believe we are still importing iron ore. Um... Actually, let's see, iron ore. Hmm, we haven't really seen. Oh, you can see the slight bump over there. Visible. visible. Um, but if we look at our imports, we are importing iron ore. Yeah, it's one of the few things that we still have to import rather regularly. Fuel? Why are we importing so much fuel? What the hell? Wait, what? <laughs> anyway, I mean, our economy is largely uh, settled, so I'm not too uh, too concerned about it. A little, little, little bothered, but not as much as... You know, way back when it was just like, yeah, I want to be entirely 100% self-sustaining. 
um, we, we managed to make quite a few things quite self-sustaining, and now it's kind of like, all right, let's be a bit more realistic <laughs> with making progress. Now this is, now it's just bumping up instead. Why would you, why would you do such a thing? Full height from center should be pulling the height from the center. It just feels like it's going higher and higher. Yeah, that's that's more appropriate looking. Okay. Here we go. Go ahead and flatten larger waz at the same time. Hopefully. Yeah, that's looking good. Gonna have to do something about these like giant plateaus that we're creating. Obviously gonna have to smooth these out and make this work a bit better. I wish the train a little bit. A little bit, I said. I don't want to, like, you know, we'll sort this out. Okay. That's that. Go ahead and pick up our little cloned element again. Not auto-building. That's good. Where is our... Here we go. So if we get you scooped up... I don't want the forklift garage, but we'll know what goes there, so that's fine. Can I actually include you? I can. There we go. That's perfect. That's perfect. All right, cool. So get all of these guys down over here. Shape actually works quite nicely. Uh, flip you around this way. Right, so we got our little uh, open storage up there. Now, you know what? I think we also need a warehouse here, right? Because that's one of our biggest... Uh, that was one of our big like surprises. Not really surprises, but adjustments that we made. Not auto buildings. We're going to pop you down over here. Um, what was it? It was... Where are we? There we go. This warehouse is largely unused. But this warehouse is where we drop off everything else, right? This is the separate set of tracks that we had to put down because we realized, wait, hang on a second. We're not bringing up plastics and, and the, like, all, all that other stuff, right? So we are going to need to do that. Do chemicals also get dropped off over here? Because I believe we need to use chemicals, right? We do indeed. Why do we don't have any chemicals up over there? Where is our chemical plant? You are working away. Yeah. Got chemicals topped up over here. Yeah. Okay. That is crops. Fair enough. Is it because we have too many plastics? That's what it looks like. Looks like we've got way too many plastics. Might just start dropping some of them off. Like, rather, we might just start exporting some of them. Yeah, that looks like the problem here. Alright, fair enough. Glad I checked. Glad I noticed. Um, but yes, this is something we want to integrate a bit more nicely in that new space, right? Um, or we integrate it the same way. Did I not? Are you guys? I did not. Beautiful. Well done. Well done, party. There you go. Um, damn, okay. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and... How do I want to ship out plastic? See, the funny thing is we could... If we wanted to. Yeah, I think we just truck them out. I was going to say, like, we could um, get them onto storage containers, like shipping containers, and move them up to St. Portia to ship out. But I feel like that's not going to it's not gonna work. And what do we have over here? This is a problem. We really that low on fuel? Oh, damn. Damn, for real? This is a problem. We got fuel down over here and over... Okay. These trains are still coming through. Are you... What are you full of? Bitumen. Where's our other one? Where's our fuel train? Where is our fuel train? All the way down over here. We're loading up. Do we not have a lot of fuel? Yeah, this is a problem. We don't have a lot of oil, do we? Nope. You're topped up. Okay, I need to see over here. Like, how much oil are we actually picking up? How much fuel are we actually producing? Okay, we are producing. I mean, when this is topped up, we're producing enough fuel. But we're only going back and forth with like 90 tons of fuel. That's not going to cut it. That's not going to cut it. And really, the only reason we're producing um, fuel right now is because this chemical uh, factory is not able to produce more chemicals because it's topped up over here and in the warehouse, right? Yeah. Yikes. Okay. Hmm. 
wonder if we have to prioritize fuel first. <laughs> this has been a uh, doozy of an episode because that's going to yeah stop all the uh, lights and stuff as well. And what I can do is obviously I can I can pay for fuel in some spots. Now hang on a second. You we've got fuel here. So why are we not pumping fuel up to you? All right, this should be pumped through and yet for some reason it is not. All right, that needs to be figured out. I think we need to maybe take a short detour and figure out this fuel situation before we continue our uh, establishments down over here. But I mean at least we've got uh, a bit of an idea of like how this will hook up. Um, the warehouse is the question. Like, let's see. Um, let's, let's let's just quickly do this on on pause for a moment here because I do want to make more progress down over here. If we got the forklift garage, no, we want the modded forklift garage that we are able to daisy chain. Um, forklift facility. Get you, right? Pop you down. Not auto building here, and can we flatten a bit? Yep here as well. I'm gonna make this like similar to the other space obviously there's no reason to fix what isn't broken. So we got these daisy chained right and they were kind of like the other way around previously but that, that that doesn't make a big difference I guess the placement of this is a little different as a result. Oh I see yeah okay fine sure. Right. Demolish you guys. Pop you down like Oh, so, there we go. Pop you down like so. Okay. Uh, then the warehouse, I think, goes down uh, down below, right? Up over here? Yeah, the warehouse goes down below. But do we want to do the same thing here? Because we're not going to get tracks down over here, right? Um, but it worked because of the... Uh, because of the... Uh, the factory connections, I believe. <laughs> Where are all the factory connections? You, do you, what? Hello? Surely you have factory connections on this thing. Mod. No, really? I had to use crossings for everything? Damn, I guess so. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Factory connection crossing, except the road crossing over here, potentially. Nah, I think we can just do the four-way crossing. I'll need to plot this out a bit more carefully, I think. Let's see. I don't think this is going to connect. Yeah, I need to right from center this. Auto build, please. Alright. Let's get our crossing here. Boom. And then the warehouse. Okay, if we do get the warehouse down over here, would I be able to? I mean the train the tracks might want to go like around and then connect back over here. All right, so again, it's like similar but different. And flatten this a little bit. Very cognizant of where that road connection is. Uh, what if we go ahead and flip this around? Can we not connect to... Yeah, there we go. Much rather that connection. So we had a pretty clean one earlier. There it is. Okay, flatten this a bit more. Oh, come on now. You know you want to work. You know you want to work, game. No. More flattening height from center going on over here. is going to be uh, a lot of terraforming. Don't do the math. Don't do the math. Right. Warehouse. Connection like this. You know what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to actually get the, uh, the road crossing over here. Let's go ahead and get the modded road crossing like so. Because we need to get the road up over here to connect to this anyway. So why don't we go ahead and get... Um, at the warehouse like this after all. Any value? I mean, sure. Let's do it. Pop you like that. These tracks, what they'll do is these tracks will come around this way. We'll have to flatten a bit more, but there'll be a little loop over here, basically. Um, so what we'll do is we'll have 
the train come out from over here, either bypass... Oh, please tell me we can get a bypass in here. Must be able to. Yeah, we can. Cool. So we'll have a bypass to go to the warehouse round back over here. Uh, and we'll also have the, the stop at the, uh, the open storage as well. Um, that'll work, I think, nicely enough. We'll need to have, like, the passenger stop up over here or something and then connect it to everything, right? Uh, and then, I mean, this... If we want to, we can probably, yeah, have, like, a connection out from over here. Um, connect back? But in that case, I don't know if we want this to be, like, a one-way track, I guess. Would help with, uh... It would look interesting. It'd be, a, it'd be very different from anything we've done before would help maybe with traffic uh, management, but this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting, folks, but uh, I, I, I think uh, we're going to have to leave the rest of this until next time. This is where we're going to call it a session. We've reached that uh, hour mark that I like to try and roughly keep these two. Uh, a lot of progress today, a little different from what I would planned going in, but oh, would you look at that? The first of these towers uh, has, been, uh, has been established. Lonely though it stands, its comrades will join it soon. Look at that. It, it does look quite, I don't know, there's something uh, romantic about it, you know? Romantic in, like, not like the not like the Valentine's Day sense, but in, like, the, you know, like, like literary sense, I suppose. I don't know if that's the right term. Yeah. Our, uh, our little uh, lone comrade, as it were. <laughs> I quite like it, actually. Uh, do you have any uh, any residents? Not quite yet. Buildings without power supply as well. We'll sort all that, all that stuff out when this is all done, but it looks like our... Uh, Platform here is done and everything too is going to be exciting. Lots of workers waiting over here. No, not yet, damn it. I have to disconnect these uh, roads, I think. You're waiting to, to go nowhere for now. But exciting times ahead, folks, as we continue to develop the nation. I do hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. Again, and as always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, how I go about doing it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on uh, the, the fuel situation. Maybe it's time to just start paying for fuel for a little bit until we can catch up. We do have to establish more uh, oil rigs and things like that. We've talked about that previously. I think that tipping point has finally come with the arrival of the planes. And then there's, of course, uh, more employment to be uh, taken care of as well. Interesting times. Interesting times. As always, a... Massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, that's for done, you. Yeah.